What's up, Kyle? <laughs> Not much. What's up, Scott? We're back. We're back. Yes. All right. All so right. The... Let's get right into the Valspar Open. Uh, do you ready. want to start? Do you want to start with the DraftKings? Sure. We got a uh, a short top range this week. Uh, it starts at eleven thousand five hundred with Justin Thomas. Mm-hmm. It goes down to ten k with Paul Casey. Um, there's not many many players in this range. It's Justin Thomas eleven five, Dustin Johnson eleven two, Victor Hovland ten five, Patrick Reed ten three, and Paul Casey at ten thousand. Um, person I like the most in this range is going to be Super Chalk. Uh, so I don't like him in tournaments necessarily, but Paul Casey uh, wins this every single year. Yeah, <laughs> um, he's won it's, uh, the last two times that they've had it. Mm-hmm. No tournament it's his last tournament. year. Yeah, yeah. Give the guy yeah. an easy win. Yeah. I like that as well. I mean, uh, only thing is the field is stronger this year, just because how the scheduling yeah. is played out. More people are playing it, um, so that scares me off Paul Casey a little bit. But I still do uh, like him quite a bit, just with his, how he played at the Masters. Um, he didn't play too well at the Heritage, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm not I worried about like that him. one bit. Mm-mm. Um, who do you like in this range? I like uh, Justin Thomas. I think he is the most expensive for a reason. He's playing really well right now. Uh, I think that he's got a really good shot at winning. The odds are telling you that on Bovada. He's the first uh, golfer in a long time that I've seen at less than plus 1,000 to win uh, on on a Tuesday. Uh, so, I mean, they, they know something here. He's been playing really well the last, you know, couple of months. And... I think uh, I think he's got a really good shot to to score uh, a great round here this week. The only thing that scares me off Justin Thomas is his driver, and yeah. uh, this course is pretty narrow. Um, the cut line here is actually usually um, above even. Um, guys usually get killed at this course. You need to hit fairways. Um, you could club down at this course, so hopefully we see Justin Thomas with less than driver in his hand for most of the, the tournament, which right. would bode very well for him. Mm-hmm. Um, another guy I like and will definitely have in some tournaments is Patrick Reed, just because he wins just about everywhere. Yeah. Um, and this course, if you miss the greens, uh, you're going to have to scramble your ass off because it's tough. Um and Patrick Reed can do that. He's one of the only players that can. Uh, so I like Patrick Reed as well. Yeah, I, um, I would have to agree with you on, on Reed here. I think he's got a, a good shot as well. He's sitting at plus 1,800 right now. If and, we drop down, yeah. next range at uh, 9,800, we have Scotty Scheffler all the way down to Russell Henley at 9,000. Uh, this will be a super popular range. Um, I like Scotty Scheffler a lot. I think he might go overlooked just because he's right around uh, two players that are going to be, I think, the most popular uh, in DraftKings in Paul Casey and Corey Connors. Um, they should be the two most popular players, and Scotty Scheffler might be the one overlooked. Um, I also saw a lot of people talking about Terrell Hatton this week. I don't like him. Um, he could get erratic sometimes. Uh He's just someone I'd like to fade in this range. Uh, yeah. I like Abraham Answer. I was going to say, I love, love, love Abraham, Abe Answer. He's, and uh, I love Joaquin Neiman this week. Yeah, and I like Sung, Sung Jay as well. Mm. Uh, but Abe Answer is a guy who, you know, finishes. He's been the last pretty much all year, he's been right in that 15 to 25 finish range. Um, so he's going to score points every week. He makes a lot of cuts. He's made 14 of the last 16. And same with uh, Corey Connors, 14 of the last 17. Average fantasy points per game is at 75.3. I think that's really great value at 9,600. 
Oh yeah, just because I said he's going to be chalk doesn't mean I don't like him. Yeah, uh, you can't you can't fade all the chalk. Right. Um, he's gonna be, he's gonna make the cut. He'll he'll probably top ten. I mean, look at his last few tournaments. Uh, he's been playing excellent. Yeah. And his style of play with his irons being his best thing um, fits this course pretty well. Uh, and Louis Usti, he should come in pretty low owned. But at 9500 Louis Usti, it's a scary price for somebody like him. Yeah. Not – I can I can kind of see why he's going to be low owned. I mean, he did okay – he did pretty well last week actually in the match play or in the uh, team event. Right. But uh, this is this is going to be a little different. This is a really hard course. And what do you think of uh, Russell Henley? Um, that's a good question. I don't necessarily like him at nine thousand. I think if he was yeah. a little cheaper, he'd be a no brainer. Mm. All right, if we drop down to the eight K range, it starts with Bubba Watson at eight thousand nine hundred. We go all the way down to Taylor Gooch at eight thousand. Uh, Bubba Watson has won here before. Um, I don't love him. I, Bubba's a guy I, I try to stay away from yeah. most of the time. Uh, guys that I do like in this range, Justin Rose, Jason Kokrak, and Charlie Hoffman. Uh, love all of them. Justin Rose showed some form for the first time in forever at the Masters. Yeah. Um, and this is a type of course that traditionally he would – do really well at a uh, great iron player and he can putt uh kokrak also fits the bill with the long irons because you are the way this course is designed you are going to have to lay up yeah. um so a lot of water a lot of yep and you're going to need a lot of long irons and that's exactly what kokrak does and charlie hoffman old man hoffman just seems to be playing great golf yeah he can't I... be stopped <laughs> He will not be denied. No. So that's who, those are the three I love in this range. Um, is there anybody else uh, you like? I like Ryan Palmer a lot at 8,500. Uh, I think that's, I mean, he should be probably in the nines for this. Him and him and Charlie Hoffman are yeah. very similar players. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's averaging 82 and a half points a week, made 11 out of 12 cuts. His average round is 69.8. I mean, you can't can't really uh, fade a guy like that. I like him. Yeah. Guys I don't like, don't love Grillo, and I actually don't love uh, Max Homa or Taylor Gooch this week. No. Um, I don't think it fits their style of play. Kevin Na is a sneaky one. Um this course does fit his style of play, uh, and I can see him. He, he's a guy that can win. He, he can actually win tournaments, so Kevin Na is always someone to pick. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you 100%. We go down 7,000 range, starts with Keegan Bradley at 7.9, all the way down. This is a huge range this week. Yeah. Uh, all the way down to... Henrik Stenson at seven thousand. Um, I'll let you take this range first. Um, who do you like in the seven Ks? Okay, seven Ks. Let's see here. Mm, yeah, this is a huge freaking range. Oh yeah. Um, top guy, I think is. Probably got to go with Cam Davis, seventy five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he's like, uh, uh, he's been playing pretty well in the tournaments where he makes the cut. Um, and I was how I was looking at another bet. I think we should take for this tournament and Cam Davis to finish as the top Aussie is currently sitting at minus one ten. I think we got to lock that in every week. Cam yeah. Davis, top Aussie. <laughs> I think that's just that's Bovada is uh, not up on the Aussie bets, on the Dgen Aussie prop bets. They're not, and we're going to exploit that until they <laughs> until the wheels fall off. Uh, 
Some guys that I like in this range, I do like uh, Keegan Bradley. Um, he's great with his irons. If he could just putt, uh, he would be one of the best players on tour. Yeah. Um, Gary Woodland has been showing some form, some sign of life. He could be someone to look at. Kisner, is a, this course fits his style, but he's been playing terrible. Um, Brendan Grace is a guy I never love, but you could see pop at a tournament like this. Ian Poulter, a grinder, um, yeah. is a guy that when you see guys needing to scramble, uh, you want someone like Ian Poulter. Um, gonna Doug Gim, he's still there, still has some form. Um, I wouldn't mind Doug Gim this week. A guy I do like is Brant Snedeker. I think he's showing some form. Uh, he's back. Um, and he's another one that could hit some crazy shots and possibly get in this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Charles Schwartzel. He's won this tournament before, and he just came 26 of the Masters. And in the match play, he was with Louis? Louis Usti? Yes, in the South African uh, team. In the team, yeah. And yep. uh, he ca he carried them. He carried yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I like Charles Schwartzel this week. I um, think I'm, I'm looking at other bets as you were saying that. There mm -hmm. is – where is it? There was a top South African player. Ooh. And where is it? Yes. Charles Schwartzel, plus 350. And uh, Louis Uwe like is plus 110. I don't then, mind that. I like him to yeah. be uh, – he could be Usti here. Yeah, and then it's Brandon Grace is plus 300. EVR uh, mm. is plus 325. It's, it's a pretty tough range, but I, I don't mind that. Plus 350, that's pretty good odds. Yeah. Yeah. We drop down to the 6Ks. We got Tom Lewis all the way down to the bare minimum 6,000. Uh, a guy I never heard of, Nelson Ledzema. But also down at 6,000 is uh, Chase Kepka, brother of Brooks. Real? Um, yep. Uh, I, I like it. Chase Kepka to make the cut. That's a bet. I like that. Um, I don't think they have Chase Kepka prop bets yet. Mm. But Bryce Garnett, uh, he was a guy I liked. He, he withdrew, uh, unfortunately. Someone in this range I always like is Kyle Stanley. He's an Irons guy. Um, Fits this course pretty well. Um, I also like Love. I'll go with Love. Scott Stallings, 6,700. I was just looking at him. He's a guy that fits this course really well. I just had him uh, highlighted. He's kind of a Charlie Hoffman, Ryan Palmer type player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I like him this week. Uh, I don't like much of the sixes. We have Vincent Whaley down here. I do like him uh, as a young guy uh, yeah. with good form at 6,400. I think he's a decent player if you wanted to you know, do some things higher up. Um, Cameron Percy is sitting and, at 6,500. Uh, he's not going to make a cut. Yeah, that's pretty much the range. Yeah. Did I miss anybody? Where's Chase Seifert? I know he's in here. Chase somewhere. Seifert is at the top of the sixes, I believe. Yeah, right under uh, Stallings. Yep, I like Chase Seifert as well. Yeah, um, I think he makes a cut and he's, he scores some points this weekend yep. for us. But that's all I like in the sixes. Don't like too much. Um, no, not too much to love about the six six K guys. I think my I was, strategy. Hmm? I said I was trying to just like sift through and see if there's any like just uh, you know shot in the dark value, but. Not much. Not much other right. than the people we talked about. I don't see so a lot made, of these guys uh, making the cut. I made two lineups. Um, one of them I started with Paul Casey, chalky player, but uh, like I said, I like him. I also threw Patrick Reed in there, uh, Charlie Hoffman, Charles Schwartzel, Brant Snedeker, and Scott Stallings. Um, I think that team has enough... Uh, enough outliers to fade, get rid of the chalk with Paul Casey. So I think it's a great tournament team. And then this is another tournament team that I made. Abraham Answer, Joaquin Neiman, Justin Rose, Scotty Scheffler. 
loaded up at the nine Ks in the top of the eights, and yeah. then went with our boy Chase Seifer and Vincent Whaley. I mean, I, that's I love that team. That team has potential right there. Absolutely. But, but with golf, it, somebody always ruins it. <laughs> so you never know. Uh, but that's that's what I think with uh, this tournament this week. I wouldn't be shocked if uh, one of the top guys did take it. I mean, Justin Thomas, Dustin Johnson, and somebody we didn't even talk about, Victor Hovland. This course fits him pretty well, unless he gets in trouble and has to scramble. He's not the best scrambler. No. Um, but if I were to pick, had to pick one player I thought was going to actually win, I think I'm going to take answer. Abraham answer this week. Yeah. I am with you on that. Uh, yeah. I have him, and I just locked in a lineup for for this week. Uh, so starting off with Scotty Chef, and then Abe Answer is right underneath him at 9,300. And then we got uh, Hoffman and Horsefield at 86 and 74, respectively. Mm-hmm. And then I got Snedeker at 73 and Davis, Cam Davis at 7,500. I like it. Yeah. Like it a lot. Horsefield at at seventy four hundred is a freaking steal. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. All right. Um, that's about all I got in the Vals bar. Yeah, you want to go over the draft quick? Yeah, want to uh, want, let's want to hang up, and make it two. Sure. All right, and I'll go check on the dog while we do that. Sure. <laughs> 